Serum 2 just dropped and this thing is huge. Serum was already the best plugin out there in my opinion. This takes it to the next level. This video, I'll show you everything that's new, why it's so dope, and I'll show you a workflow that makes this plugin less overwhelming. Especially if you're a beginner and you're looking at this, you're like, where do I start? As a small recap, we have oscillators. What's new is a mixer. Then we have an effects. Then we have a matrix. And then we have some global settings. So you oscillate a sound and you direct where it goes in the mixer. Then you add effects to the sound. And then in the matrix, you can check every modulation. Envelopes, LFOs, macros, anything underneath here basically can go to any knob. Once you do that, it shows up in the matrix and you can kind of adjust that a little bit more. So now let's talk about what's new. In the effects section, this is amazing. You can add as many effects as you want. If you want four filters and then want to like change it right here, you can just do that. And you couldn't do that before and it changes everything. Then you can save that and then you can just load up your favorite presets each time. One of the things that's new and also changes the game is the mixer. So let's assume we have oscillator A and then make it go to main for now. A goes to main. Here's the deal. We can take this raw sound and add it to bus one. So this stage of the sound goes into bus one. Then we can go into the effects and then go to bus one and add some chorus. Let's go back to the mixer and let oscillator A go to the filter right here. Now we have oscillator A going to bus one and to the filter. And then we can have this filter go to bus two. And then we can go to bus two and we add distortion. Then bus one can go to bus two and then bus two and filter one go to main. But filter one can go to filter two, and this can go to main, and then it can go to one and two. And as you can see, you can split up the sound into millions of fragments, which makes it unbeatable. One thing that's added as well is the arpeggio. Let's enable it right here and click on it. And then we can play sequence one, and we can just take down the gate. Make it go down up, shift it 12 so it hits 12 keys so it's an octave and let it go up two octaves. I just wrote in a chord progression, then go to main, add some reverb and it's already huge. It's insane. Next thing that's really cool about Serum 2 is the warp modes. If you have oscillator A, and let's enable oscillator B and take down the level, we can now warp it with a bunch of different modes that weren't here before. For example, distortion, filters, and some other stuff. Now we can FM it from B, and then also FM it from C. Along that, you have some distortion modes, which is great. For example, the linear fold, and also some filters, which is amazing. One of the biggest things about Serum 2 as well is the oscillator settings. So now we're on Wavetable and that's something we all know. 3D change of this thing right here, really cool. Then we can change it to multi-sample. And now it's gonna hit multiple samples basically that you load in. And when you pitch sounds up and down, it kind of loses quality, but these are all rendered at the right you know, key so that they sound good. You can load in your own banks or just use really nice factory banks for choirs. Sample. You can load in a sample, but let's play a piano. And you can change it based on all these settings still with the warp modes, but you can change it to different loop modes. So then we can go to granular. This is my favorite right here. You add some reverb to this. Beautiful. Finally, we have Spectral, which is really cool. So there's all these different modes to now play noises, and that changes the game for this plugin as well. Then you can obviously modulate them with the warps. Now, we also have a few more filters. One of my favorite filters is the diffuser, which is kind of a disperser. You add some stages. At filter 2, go into the mixer, make sure it starts in filter 1. Then filter 1 goes to filter 2. And then just automate filter 2 right here with an envelope. And you immediately have that dance floor bass. Something else that's amazing is the acid ladder. You can just add some resonance right here. Enable that envelope, add it to the cutoff. 
simply add an arpeggio going 12 maybe down up Creates beautiful asset sound. So there's some really cool filters that you can play around with here. I'm sure there will be plenty of videos exploring those. Let's dive into the LFOs. Something here changed and is really cool. We have the same free retrigger and envelope modes. Free always plays, retrigger starts to play when you play it but keeps going and envelope only plays once. Now we can change the overlying like setting basically. Normal is what we're used to. But then we can change it to path and we can kind of make it do whatever we want. We can start it like this, but we can also make it loop, right? Then we can use that on a free mode, retrigger mode or envelope mode. Then we have our chaos options right here and they added a beautiful animation that you can then just, you know, I do this a lot with Heartstyle. Get that BPM to Hertz and enable more rate and just add it to the course pitch. In the matrix, you can then control it. Who can have a roster too? And of course, we have to sample and hold. Any further, we have four extra macros. We have another envelope added, which is really cool. Then if you always wanted to change the detune setting, so for example, detune it, you would find the voice settings in global, but now you find them right here in the oscillator as a setting and you can change the width, you can change the mode with which it stacks the voices and you can change the stack. And I use this a lot to make analog sounds, for example. Any further, we have a sub oscillator right here and we can now change the course pitch of that really easily, the octave, but the course pitch and the phase is new and you can change that to contiguous too. Gives us a bit more control. I obviously missed a lot of things in this plugin because it's just out, but these are really the sections that I would focus on and those are new and they really excite me. Let's dive into that workflow that works for me when I design a sound, because we do really have a lot of options to go for, right? I would first think about what I wanna make. Let's make a Reese, okay? So if I wanna make a Reese, start low, no randomization, add two voices, and in a Reese, I have my low notes and high notes separated. So detune, the higher I go, the faster it goes. Then I wanna have the width down, so it can properly face. And I wanted to go to filter one with drive. We go in the mixer and then I think about what stage should go where. If I'm making a Reese, I might want to dial in the final sound first. And I know I'm going to add more effects on the main bus first. So let's do that. We add some distortion, right? And I don't worry about any buses yet. So then sign shaper. And then the splitter is amazing. And then in the splitter, I have the lows, which I want to compress a little bit. And then the highs, I want to spice up slightly with some chorus. The crossover will be very high. So anything under this frequency will get the compressor and everything over will get the chorus. And then finally, maybe add another distortion unit to make it clip with a heart clipper. Now we kind of dialed in the sound that I'm looking for. Let's say this is my final. Then I go back into the mixer and I go like, without any of these effects, what do I want the raw sound to go through? Oscillator A without the filter. I let it go into bus one. And on bus one, I could go and add crazy stuff. Let's convolve it, for example. And to properly know how this sounds, you need to make sure that everything else is down. How I would do this, if you just disable where oscillator A goes, bus here, direct out, same would go here. Just take it to none and you won't hear it. Then we have bus one and we can just dial in some sound. So we convolve it and we can just maybe use a weird one. And after that, I might want to add a chorus. And because I'm thinking about bus one as being a very wet one without any of the dry raw sound, I just add an equalizer. I remove the lows because I want this to go on top of the other one. And then I re-enable the sound to go through the filter and then the filter goes to main. And this can then go to bus two or to main. And now we added this roomy vibe to the sound because it already gets processed by the main plugins right here. Then you can do oscillator B, obviously, maybe warp A based on me with FM. Maybe get some Loisia type stuff. 
and then C can get dialed in. But then C could just be going to filter. And we just make sure that C doesn't get selected here, but it does get selected there. What I just did now, filter 1A, filter 2 C, and then in the mixer, you can see they both go to the filter, but then you can see it's separated. Oscillator A goes to 1, oscillator C goes to 2. And 2 has this shape, and 1 has that shape, right? So now we have this layer on top, and we could maybe have misc reverb. Cool. And then filter 2 can go to main, but it also added to bus 2. Remember what we want to do if you want to solo out this sound. Now you need to think about, of course, it's stages, right? So oscillator C does need to go to the filter, so you don't put this here on none. But in filter 2, you do put it on none. This one goes to none, and then this gun goes down. Now we can solo out this sound, because otherwise combined so in bus 2 effects we can then add whatever we want so maybe on this extra thing that i added i want to add some pound sampling beautiful it gives it this edge right then maybe another distortion unit to get some linear fold and then another distortion to get it down sample again not too much because it will play around with the lows and then just dial it back in make sure it goes to main main and as you can see i kind of build up the sound and i think about what can i then add on top on top of top instead of just letting every knob go to everything because that's what you would do in the beginning you would go like oh i want this there and this and this ah and then you add everything everywhere and it doesn't really work you need to think in stages you need to think oscillator a okay filter boom yeah then i do main effect so it already has the final sound then maybe oscillator b and c uh, nothing happens. B is for modulation, right? For the FM that I added right here. And then C will be this top layer that only gets stuff in bus 2. And then maybe bus 1 can go to bus 2 at the end, you know? So now I quickly want to dive into these a little bit more detailed things that Serum also comes with. First of all, you can change the volumes in the mixer right here for every part of the sound. But once you add effects, you can also control the volume here. It goes down the chain with that amount of volume. So if you have distortion, it would obviously help a lot to add a lot of volume in front of the distortion because it gets distorted more. In the oscillators, you will find where it goes in the filter, either in one or two, or a combo of one or two, and to what bus it goes. So it's kind of a simplified view of the mix right here, and it goes for every one of these, right? The LFO comes with a few drawing modes, which makes it easier to draw certain shapes, sequencers, and obviously it comes with a bunch of presets that are great. Any further, if you would go to the Lorenz one here, for example, or to the path one, and you draw something like this, you'll see it pops up an X and Y axis that you can then go to different ones. Obviously, it has a Y movement and X movement. So what's new in the warp modes is the pdfm difference filters and the distortions of course the fm is not what it's used to be it sounds different should just take the pd and it sounds similar so based on what oscillator setting you take you open up a few interfaces the wavetable we're all familiar with multi-sample kind of similar sample opens up the scan right here and then if you go to granular you'll find few modes so let's open up a classic piano keep it on one shot Moves to the right and the left, the scan rate and how fast it does. Then the density of the grains, the length of these grains, the panning and the level. And then you can randomize the pitch. Kind of detune it, sort of. Randomize the length, randomization of the pan and the gain. Then random direction of these and the offset. So basically, you can change how it granulizes the sample with a lot of randomization and settings right here. And you can change the type to one shot, forward loop, reverse loop, forward reverse loop and tailed. Change the length. It results in a bunch of different variations. Spectral opens up some spectral warp modes, which are amazing. Look at that. Just know that these options are here and play around with them. And further, let's not forget there's a drag and drop render right here. Finally, something that's really cool in global is the randomization of a few knobs. Every time you click a note, it might randomize the panning, detune, cut off, and the envelopes. 
which kind of makes it more real and helps you get that analogs and real human sound basically. It even comes with like a step sequencer thing that reminds me a little bit of Nexus. You can do that for each of these and you can also change the length. Something that's also really cool is the piano in here. You can transpose the whole plugin. So if you're in C, it goes to C sharp, D, D sharp, etc. Then you can change the key to F, so you will play in F. And then you can play it in Lydian. So it's kind of like a mini DAW and it's really, really cool. Also, the preset library right here shows previews. You can change preview fallback clip right here. And obviously in the noise section, you'll find color, which is some of the basic white noises. You can change the stereo, the filter, depending on the level. Basically perfect white noise. This plugin is absolutely crazy. I can't wait to see what everyone else is gonna do with this plugin and what kind of like tricks we're gonna unlock with this. It's super dope. Let me know if you find out some cool tricks, drop them in the comments, share the knowledge. Thank you for watching.